morning. Good morning, ladies. Welcome and to our book shopping extravaganza video mm -hmm. where we're gonna go book shopping and take you with us. And yeah, we're gonna hit up, I don't know how many bookstores, probably like two, mm -hmm. two or three. There might be one actually close oh, really? to, yeah. Oh, and the pen place. Oh, and the pen. We're to going to like one. a stationary ish shop that you guys recommended. So, welcome to the video. I'm assuming we'll have a great giant big book haul to show you <gasps> Can't at wait. the end of this. So let's go, let's go, let's go. most boring book ever written. We're back. We are back. We? <laughs> We've returned um, from book shopping over the course of a few days. Yes. We went to Type, Type Books, we went to Sellers mm -hmm. and Newell, we went to Balfour Books. Mm -hmm. We didn't buy anything at Balfour, but it was a lovely, probably the most beautiful 
shop, I guess. Yeah. Oh, I didn't show what I got at Wonder Pens. Oh, it doesn't matter. matter. It's okay. No, no, that's okay. Uh, and <laughs> then we also went to Chapters. Yes. Yeah, so I got some books, obviously. We just filmed Carolyn's little haul on her channel if you want to see what she got. But this is what I bought. My theme, it was really themed. It was really <laughs> themed. Mm -hmm. So um, basically travel travel lit and mountains and snow which you know is kind of always the deal so i got one book at oh that's the bookmark I how cute one book at type independent bookstore for serious book lovers and more whimsical readers alike cool so i had never heard of this but i just oh i saw it and i was like you are coming home with me so it is two sherpas bestian martinez daniel um he's an argentinian author and this is translated by Jennifer Croft. I saw the mountains and I was like, you're coming home with me. So basically this one follows an Englishman who is climbing Mount Everest with the help of a couple of guys and he falls off a ridge <laughs> of Mount Everest. Um, I think it's understood in the synopsis that like he's dead because he's just fallen off of freaking Mount Everest, but his two guides are like standing there looking down at the body deciding what to do like deciding what they want to do and then um it just spans so so much like in that split second moment when they're deciding what they want to do it encompasses mount everest's place and the imagination of imperialists nazis and others ambition exploration exploitation a mysterious encounter in a beach resort in a distant land a performance of shakespeare's julius caesar and so much more so I was obviously there. So because we're, we're kind of both the queens of storage, um, <laughs> switch cameras, but yeah. Um, Sherpas, very excited. Probably a five star prediction. Um, yeah, it looks Ooh, good. I like I that. So that is the first one that I got at Type. I really love Type. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts? I really like Type as well. Yeah. Again, like I saw so many books. Oh, I, again, as in I talked about this in my my book haul. I saw so many books that I wanted oh, yeah. to get, but I mm -hmm. just want specific editions, and so I'm just that annoying person. Yeah. I just always find so many books there that I've never heard of. Mm. So, mm -hmm. love it. And it's just cute, yeah. cute little place. I, I get weirdly nervous about, like, buying books I've never heard of, mm. or mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that I'm unsure of, just because I'm like, mm, what if I don't like it? And then we went to our favorite place. Sellers. This place is so nice yes. very nice all secondhand books um so i got two books there and although these were secondhand this was my most expensive mm. purchase you'll see why anyway the first one i got is sarah wheeler's terra incognita or incognita yeah travels in antarctica so just keep going further north um but yeah this one is a piece of non-fiction all about like her time in Antarctica. I don't know. I think she's a scientist or something. Um, yeah, this is a book about the call of the wild and the response of the spirit to a country that exists perhaps most vividly in the mind. So she spent seven months living there, like in a home or in a whatever you want to call it, wherever they live, in a community with other scientists. The next piece I got, I've never heard of this one. I think I've heard of Sarah Wheeler's piece, but this one was very expensive because it's First is it edition. a first edition? This is Wandering Among the High Alps by Sir Alfred Wills. Um, yeah, I had never seen this before. Such a beautiful book. I know. And then, oh my god, I'm just gonna take it out. Ooh, gently. I like that. That's so cute. I love There, there we go. go. And then this is what the front looks like. It's very old. Um, we love old books. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Ooh, smells good. 1937. Yeah, published in 1937. Anyway, so this, I don't know who this man is. I've never heard of him before, but it is all about him traveling the Alps, mostly in Switzerland, I think. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just want to hear more about everything because it, it talks so much about the glacier hardly five minutes ever pass without the stillness being interrupted by the sharp report of an opening crevice or the noise of rock stones or blocks of ice which have been broken off or deprived of their support by the advance or melting of the glacier and are pushed into a crevice or toppled over the edge of a precipice on the summits indeed dull dead silence reigns ever forever in the unsyllabled air wow yeah 
Wow, so I think principally in Switzerland. I'm assuming there's chapters on like Mont Blanc and stuff, but and yeah, Zermatt. Have you read so. Heidi? No, I, <gasps> I've watched it though many, many a time. Oh, you should read it. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, anyway, it smells like this is gonna give me a lung infection or something. And then finally we went to chapters yesterday. Um, and I got one more book, another piece of travel literature. I don't know what's going on. Um, <laughs> but it is Italian Journey. It's Gosha's Italian Journey. Ah, I'm so excited. Look at him and his little ankles. Look at him and his little ankles. <laughs> They're just hanging out. He's just really posing. Their proportions, like, look at his foot compared to his face. <laughs> it's funny, like, proportions in, in um, classical paintings, it's always like the hands and feet are much smaller. I also think that's, like, societal mm -hmm, yeah. as well as artistic. That's funny. Anyway, so this is about his travels um, through Italy in, when did he go? 1786. He set out on a journey to Italy to fulfill a personal and artistic quest and to find relief from his responsibilities and the agonies of unrequited love. Mm. So, um, yeah, this is just like his own observations coupled with like, I think, more revised writings on his time in Italy through, where does he specifically go? Venice, Rome, Naples, and Sicily. Mm. So, yeah. I'm excited to read this. I'm gonna take it with me somewhere. <laughs> I just love hearing people's, just reading about people's like travels. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's so interesting. As last book, I got at chapters. We wandered around chapters for quite, quite a while. Quite a while. It's a big one, but that is my strange little haul. I hope you enjoyed coming book shopping with us. Thank you so much for coming along, and um, yeah. Carolyn leaves tomorrow, so thank you for being here. Thank you for coming with me everywhere. Thank you for coming into my home. Thank you for everything. Thank you for having me. Thank you for taking me of book course, shopping. Of course, of course. Thank you for being my friend. I guess ciao. I guess ciao. Ciao. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Ciao.